This week is my 50th cap for England. Um, I'm massively proud, massively honoured to have reached this level. You know, it's always been my dream to play for England. So to do it once was amazing. To have the opportunity to do it 50 times is, is great. Um, you know, I'm deeply honoured and, you know, I'm hoping for 50 more. Okay. A little bit Mariah. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody mad at Mariah. Rush hour. Hello. 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 I grew up in Northwest London in a in a very Nigerian family and Rugby was never really part of the plan. We barely knew what rugby was. If she wasn't going to tell like me when I was 10 years old that I would get 50 caps for England, I'd be like, no way, that's not even conceivable. So to be here, I feel like I'm truly blessed to, to have this opportunity. I'm truly blessed to be part of such a amazing organization and institution. But you know, I'm just happy, I'm just happy. <laughs> What do you want me to say? <laughs> when I moved into this place, I inherited this pond and I decided to keep it going. So I added a few more fish. I got a couple koi, a couple goldfish, a couple shabunkans, a couple blue orcs, a couple butterfly koi, a couple gold koi. I had a sturgeon which died. Which was again a bit, a bit, of a, a bit of a sore point, but yeah, these are my these are my babies. These are my babies. Rugby has played such an instrumental part of my life. Naturally, believe it or not, I'm quite a shy person. Through the social skills that rugby has given me, it's given me the capacity to step outside my shell. It's, it's given me confidence has given me a whole number of things that has benefited me. Skills that are going to stay with me for the rest of my life, God willing. I love rugby. I love, I love winning. I probably love winning more than I actually love, love rugby. Like growing up, the type of careers that I thought, wow, that's amazing, were the types of careers where players and teams were consistently at the top. No one really admires the losers. <laughs> I want to be a part of teams that are consistently at the top. If you're in a situation where you're consistently competing, consistently um, pushing yourself and being in that upper echelon of players and teams, then I think more often than not you will reach positive outcomes and that's the type of career that I want. This is a painting that my auntie gifted me actually. The artist is Adubi Maidaz, he's a Nigerian artist, one of the rising stars. This is one of my favourites, it's, uh, as you can see, is an artwork painted on velvet by Mr Brown, a Nigerian artist. Not many, not many pieces of art are painted on velvet and it gives a kind of a rich finish to it. This is a Nigerian legend, his name is Fela Kuti. Amongst Nigerians, he's, he's a bit of a hero. During his life, he was criticised a lot by some of the newspapers, etc. So I thought it was quite smart how the artists intertwined some of the newspapers into, into the art. When I saw it, I was like, I've got to have it. I've got to have it. So yeah, very, very, very happy about this one. I try and be a role model for 11-year-old Mara that was playing rugby. So I try and be a person that that guy would look up to and be like, oh, that's, that's cool, that's the way I can do it. This guy looks a little bit like me, represents something that, you know, I see him and I can see a little bit of me in it. <laughs> oh, 
It's incredibly exciting to be a part of this team and just see where, where we can go, see how far we can push it because you know, the talent, the, the work ethic, the attitude of the players, of the squad, of the management, of the backroom staff is really top notch and if we can all get on the same page and play the type of rugby we're, we're capable of, you know, there's no limit to our, to our potential. One step. One step. That's it, you've got one step. No, no, one step. Yeah, I can't be. To win, Jinx. Everyone, my teammates. Come on, let's go. One step. Let's go, Jinx. That's two. That's, That's two, two steps! steps. Oh, <laughs> oh, six to Daddy. So I came up here five times as a Australian catch. The only test that ever mattered was a Twickenham test. So the only game that counts for the Aussies this tour, they do get what happened against Scotland. But I'm telling you, they were preparing for us. Smash, smash, smash! Okay, well, sorry, in. Let's go, Stuart, I got you, bro. Oh, We've only got four minutes here, boys. So we're gonna defend 5v4. This week is Australia week. And my name's Anthony Seabold. I'm assistant coach with the England rugby team, looking after our defence. Ex uh, professional rugby league player, uh, both in the English Super League and the Australian NRL. Since my uh, playing days, I uh, became a teacher and university lecturer, and then I've been a professional coach for the last 16 years. Uh, head coach of the Brisbane Broncos and South Sydney Rabbitohs team, uh, assistant coach of the Queensland State of Origin team, and also the Melbourne Storm and Manly Seagulls. Aussie from rugby league, you know, coming into a rugby union environment um, over here in England. There's some challenges, of course there is, but this environment um, that Eddie creates is one that encourages the, the coaches to flourish. And, and my whole motivation is to help improve the players and be a resource for the players. That's what I'm here for, help, help them get better, help them to achieve what they want to achieve. The NRL environment where I've worked in at, at multiple clubs, um, we often have five, six, seven different um, nationalities of players. Having a diverse mix of, of people from different cultures, um, they, they bring their own little um, subtleties to the group and I think the environment that we've got here allows them to um, A, be the person they want to be, um, and second to that, be the rugby uh, player they want to be, but also there's a, a sense of you know, that psychological safety and, and the environment that's created where they can actually express themselves and, and celebrate their cultures. So diversity, as I said, I think it's um, something that helps a group flourish. We've got a bit of sauna on behind you. We've got ice baths, we've got hot baths, breakfast out for the lads. And here we've got our Grass and Roots coffee van uh, run by myself and Ben Spencer um, and our baristas. Um, very lucky to have and yeah it's just a bit of a side project away from rugby with rugby and sort of local rugby clubs and sort of bring it down here for the day and, and sort the lads out. These are a test, I'm, I've failed. No, I, can't, I can't be seen with anything. Owen Farrell's had one I think and he, he seemed alright with it. Um, I'm, I'd be quite interested to see what Jamie and Manu think about it so I'm quite nervous about that but hopefully they enjoy it. Surprise me. That is outstanding. <laughs> is that alright? Thank you very much, brother. It's pretty good. <laughs> that <laughs> is unbelievable. <laughs> it's pretty good. Stop. I need you to teach me how to do that. I can. Maybe after golf. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> no Thank worries. you. No that is unreal. Well, I feel as though we're right at the very beginning of the journey uh, for the group. I think you know the average age is around about 25 years of age. So in two years' time, a lot of the guys will be in their mid to late 20s. You know, so a lot of the guys will be sort of 25, 26, 27. And I think having that diverse mix of, of players is really encouraging for the group because we don't know how much we can grow. Uh, it's a New England, uh, and this is just the, the the first campaign of five leading into the. Rugby World Cup in France in 2023. It's about providing an environment when they come into you know, the England camp that they can you know, thrive, flourish, and, and get better individually. And, and obviously, when we get better individually, we uh, collectively are a stronger team. We have a, an activity that's called the Triple H activity. And what it does, it um, allows players and, and myself as a coach to be vulnerable. The players get up in front of the group and share um, a highlight of their life so far. Uh, someone who's been a hero in their life, but also a hardship or they've encountered um, during their, their lives and sharing stories about your journey, whether they're 
uh, positive experiences or experiences that have been um, you know, quite daunting in some cases. I think that's really important. So that brings the group um, a little bit closer together and connects the group. And it's something that I thought has worked really well with, um, you know, with the outside backs, who's the positional group that I look after. If you're coming in late as a thing, get a lever. Because when you're first man, it's easy, like, I would just yeah. overall take him out. Yeah, of course. But it's when it's like slowed down a bit, and I'm just like, I just don't want to. I want to fly in. in. 100% get you. I think you could come on a bit more of an angle yeah. and almost pull him and square up. Yeah. So you take him, so you're taking me. Yeah. That makes sense? Yeah. One of the things that um, you know we get is a, is a vast array of ideas that come from different clubs as well. So I think if everyone was from from the same background, from the you know the same club, etc., then um, you, then you're missing out. And one of the things I, I do like about the group at the moment is um, you know, they're willing to I suppose um, express their opinion and and you know not only do they express their opinion, they um, they provide evidence to that. And I think that's where you you get the gold dust. Ten percent. <laughs> that or no? Would yeah, I get yeah, done yeah. for that? No, 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 no chance. Let's have, a tally. Let's have a tally. Let's start the competition for the rest, and we'll come up with a prize for the end of it. No huh? runners. What? No runners. Yeah, I'm running up. The tracks will be kicking. You don't have a run up anyway. No. Just have to do your air first. That's all. What I'm thinking is the pressure's going to get to him. Talking to camera again. Uh -huh. Talking to camera again. <laughs> Hold it again. Exactly the same. Thanks. Ridiculous. One nil. Right, boys. First cap, Beth. Well done. some rubbish clippers, like the cheapest ones I could find, like off wall, and they practiced on my brother, my dad, and some boys that I was training with in lockdown. My barber back home gave me uh, the detail trimmers and the, the foil, so I try and learn a bit off him when I go and see him. Watch YouTube videos, it's a good little thing to take your mind off the game, to feel over the moon about the whole situation. When Eddie said my name, I was just like, so happy. But then I try and trying to not think about it too much because I know I'll just get really, really nervous. And I want to save those nerves for game day instead of two days before the game. So it's normal, lad. Yeah. Go and embrace those feelings. Yeah. Be amazing. Like last week, just even though I wasn't involved, just being at Twicken and watching the stadium fill up, sat on the sideline with Max and, and Jamie. Just seeing the stadium fill up, I was just getting off, getting out the taxi in front of the bus. It was just special, isn't it? Special, yeah. The fans, everything just makes you want to play. So I actually get to play this week, well, hopefully.
Perfect graph. High and tight. That is high and tight, brother. It's England against Australia. It's the 52nd time they've met, and it's all square. Come on, let's kick off. Just bring that energy. We're going to have trust and confidence in each other and help each other along the way. That means getting after it. Yeah, boy. That means going towards it. Hano Itoji earning his 50th cap in white this evening. Well, it has the feel almost of a World Cup final. Again. Here's Smith. Oh, the gap there for Freddie Stewart and the step. And the Leicester fullback gets his first try. Yeah. Owen Farrell takes the three points. England who lead at halfway at Twickenham. Let's get our defence discipline really good. So boys, you're going to solve this. Work out how you're going to solve it. Get together. You need to get together tighter and just focus on the simplicity of our game. And we're going to look after the ball there. Yeah. Set piece, we need that advantage bar on six. Alright, let's go boys. Let's go. Stoke that time either. Ziki Tao. He can really run when he gets a chance. Look at this. The offload to Latu. Oh, and then it's grabbed. And away goes Sam Simmons. And Simmons has got Blamire alongside him. And the hooker is going to add another try to what is a remarkable try scoring record. To be Australia at home in front of 82,000 special. I uh, have my friends and family here. Um, an amazing day, Dale, never forget for sure. I was on with 10 minutes ago, and the next thing I looked up, and it was 80 minutes, and I was like, God, that went quick. I was just running around like a madman trying to cover loads of ground and make some tackles. Um, still lots to work on, but it was just amazing. Playing international rugby, some of the people I've watched going up, playing against James O'Connor, Curtly Beale. Those kind of plays as well was just unbelievable. I had loads of family and friends here. Um, glad I got on and got to grease the field of Twickenham. <laughs> it was amazing. It's a really gutsy effort, boys, today. Like, the football wasn't the wasn't rugby we want to play. Like, we want to play at a high level, but I'll tell you what we want to win for. Sometimes you've got to play like that to win. So really well done. Really well done to everyone. And it's a squad effort again. You know, the, the feeling the, the non-23 give this squad is absolutely fantastic. So keep fighting, one week to go, eh? You don't know what's going to happen. So be ready for your opportunity. Maro, um, obviously a lot was said last night, mate, but I, I've got the privilege of, of handing you this. Uh, I think the, the most impressive thing for me is, is not what you've done, but what's in front of you as well. And, and how many more of these you, you're going to get. So, mate, it's been a privilege to, to play alongside you. And congratulations. We spoke last night, but I'll reiterate the same message. It's an honour to play with you guys, fellas. It's um, you know, it's it's actually a dream come true. And um, I think for me, it's great to be a part of this team because of the genuine feeling that this team is going somewhere special. I genuinely believe this team is is going to go somewhere if we continue to do what we're doing. So, thank you very much. Thank you for allowing me to share the field with you guys. Like I said, you're picking me for 50. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
but yeah, thank you very much. This is much appreciated, and uh, let's repeat next week. Cheers. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just want to present Bev with your first cap um, on behalf of the teammate. Eddie's already um, touched on it there. I think you were saying you had a uh, holiday booked with the boys in Cornwall. <laughs> <laughs> and then you find out, you get pulled into camp, then you're on the bench and then you're starting. Um, just, from, just from me, mate, you're going up against someone who's got, it was, a it was his 113th cap today, that was your first cap. You, 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 your composure under pressure, the way you adapted at half time, the way you held yourself, impressive. Really, really impressive. And I'm not just saying it for me, from the boys and the coaches and everyone. This is the first of many. Keep your head down, keep grafting. Boys love you. Really, really well. Yeah. Uh, thanks for making it easy for me to come in, because I'm quite an awkward guy. <laughs> So yeah, cheers. <laughs> excitement levels this week, or since you've, you've been in camp, it's been unbelievable. You've certainly given me energy and the rest of the group. I, you, the smile on your face when you knew you were going to get played this week, and I'm so pleased to be presenting you this. It's a great honour for me. So, 1,441, rapid play. Yes. Cheers, lads, for being so welcoming. Um, I love this environment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, love the that challenge. So this has been like the best day of my life, so hopefully I get to do it again. Cheers, lads. Well,